Namaste and welcome to India Yoga Arogya series. Today we are taking a health problem called Alzheimer's. It's one of the elderly age related problems. Alzheimer's can able to do only limited stuff. There are areas they are able to limited like Many of the asanas will be much challenging and body is more stiffer and they can't co coordinate with many things. But there are a lot of simple things in our early stage of Alzheimer's can help. But later stages, even that is also difficult to do them. They can't remember to do themselves or others has to be make them to do it. And uh, there are few techniques really very helpful if they are able to initially build up well. It is a Mukhadauti and Agnisara. And Mukhadauti and Agnisara and regularly practice early morning. It really helps them to minimize the impact of the Alzheimer's and they will find much more help from many other re the reasons like you know digestion, mind become calmer, the body becomes stronger and uh, neuromuscular relaxes really well. Then apart from that there are the abuse techniques which is stretches the spine and muscles with the coordination of breath can really help. This among one it is called Vyagrashwasa or tiger breathing. And uh, sit in Vajrasana and slowly keep the knees slightly wider and keep the hands front, standing on the palms and ankles are active. As inhale, slowly raise up but no stress on the neck. Then ex during the exhalation, spine raised up and head dropped down. And repeat this around 10 to 15 times without stressing the neck. And gradually work on that. Once it is finished, slowly bring the legs together and sit down and drop the head and breathe there for a few breaths it says the spine gives an opposite stretch here and there is a contraction comes on the belly a rich circulation goes to the head and after particularly after vagra shwasa and brain shells gets on a rich circulation then once it is finished slowly coming front and lying down on the belly toes pointed and palms next to the chest or wherever they are comfortable as they inhale sometimes they are finding difficult even lifting there they can keep the forearms parallel instead of the palms also. Now, as they inhale, smoothly raise the chest as much as possible with the contraction of the pelvic floor and toes pointer. During the exhalation, they have to go down. Inhale and raise up here. Exhale and go down. Repeating around 10 to 12 repetition there. After that, they can stretch the hands straight front, the legs together. As they inhale, raise the right leg up and left hand as they exhale down if it is you on raising the left hand is difficult only the leg can be done then the left leg and right hand exhale and down if there is not so comfortable to raise the hand only legs can be done this can be done also 5 to 10 times on each side with inhalation raising and exhalation releasing the next one they can easily work and play with the the practice they can just cross the hands in front of the chest into Makarasana and toes pointed out and ankle slightly flexed. Inhale and contracting the perineum and slightly squeezing the buttocks with inhalation and holding the breath as long as they can. Then exhalation, they are releasing it. Inhalation and contracting, exhalation and releasing. That will really helps to improve their movement really well. From there, then slowly rolling on the back and raising the hands over the head and the leg stretched. As the inhalation smoothly raise the right leg up, exhalation smoothly release. This is another very simple practice, also very helpful. Then the left leg and exhale and release. No rushing at all. Then can be repeated around 5 to 10 times each side. Once that is finished, one can slowly roll into the side and come to seated. And the other important practice, almost all pranayamas are very helpful in this age. Almost all pranayamas they can do it. But one of the simple and very effective practice is Nadi Shuddhi, where they can inhale through the left nostril, smoothly and steadily inhale through left nostril, close both the nostrils, then exhaling through the right nostril. Again, inhaling through the right nostril, retaining the breath as long as comfortably, then exhaling through the left. 
repeating this around multiple times in a day. If they are finding it difficult to sit on the floor, they can sit on the chair or on the sofa, it doesn't matter, spine uplifter. And repeating multiple times, very helpful here. If it is very good and comfortable, the next step they can do it, inhale, retain the breath and engage the pelvic floor, it is called Moola Bandha. And retaining that, exhale and releasing it, inhaling through the right, again retaining the pelvic floor and contracted, exhaling through the left can be gradually applied Mula Bandha with Nadi Shuddhi, it becomes more effective and more strong to continue. The next, once it is uh, happens the Nadi Shuddhi, for next few minutes as they, uh, they are always need to be absorbed the reaction of the system and mind. Then they can continue also to meditate a mudra called Linga Mudra. What do you need to do in Linga Mudra? Interlock the fingers. Keep the the left thumb over the right and raise the right thumb raised up and smoothly raise in keep it in front of the navel if it is too difficult they can keep on the thigh it is fine but always in front of the navel any time of the day any free time the linga mudra really keeps the warmness of the body and alertness and keeps the presence much higher and deeper and when then released it can be practiced always anything between 15 minutes to 45 minutes and multiple repetition, five, even 4-5 minutes in a stretch also, it's great impact with gives. And even free times also, the other mudra can be brought and practiced well, it is called Yoni Mudra. Yoni Mudra is another amazing mudra to work with. Interlock the fingers there and keep the thumb pressing each other, also index pressing each other and just in front of the navel and holding it. This is also around 15 to 45 minutes a day. Can be divided into multiple, say 5 minutes into the 9 times a day. And that really works and keeps us so relaxed and keeps and maintains the mind so calm and brings in a great balance between right and left hemisphere. And in this condition of the Alzheimer's and releases a lot of tension or a reduction of the body and which helps them to calm down themselves really well and keep them growing into the much more present. And other technique they can always follow it is in a yoga nidra. This is in a 45, around 30 to 45 minutes program and this video is already available into the India Yoga YouTube channel. You can just go and put and can be absorbed a part by part relaxation Another great practice can be followed whenever they feel to be tensed out or need to be relaxed or during the shavasana also or sleeping they can use that technique is really helpful and thank you and hopefully it is a very effective and helpful if practiced continuously and repeatedly and see you back in the next video soon thank you